Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel! My name is Ingrid. I am a Pinay wife of a Canadian and I am also a teacher by profession. In my videos, I love talking about the life here in Canada, teaching in Canada, and some long distance relationships tips and advice. If you are already watching me right now, I suppose you have the plan of migrating here in Canada. So yes, in this video, I'm going to share with you some reasons why you should pursue your plan of migrating here in Canada. I've listed down 10 reasons why I love it so much here. Number one is the universal health care. Here in Canada, if you get sick from minor illness such as fever, ear infections, sore throats, to a serious illness such as diabetes, hypertension, tuberculosis, uh, heart disease, Alzheimer's disease, there is no problem. You can be treated without the worry of where to get the money because it's all for free. You don't need to sell all your belongings and properties just for you to get the right treatment. You can set an appointment with your family doctor for free or you can just go to walk-in clinics for free consultations. You can have all the needed laboratory tests for free. You can deliver your baby in the hospital as many times as you want for free. You can have all the needed minor or major surgeries for free. Here in Ontario, they even offer free coverage for single in vitro fertilization cycle per lifetime. If you are a woman and you want to have a child but you're suffering from fertility issues. Number two is the Canada Child Benefit. Here if you are a mother and you apply for a low income even if your husband works, you can receive money from the government called the CCB or the Canada Child Benefit. The more children you have, the more money you'll get from the government. You can apply for the child benefit right after they're born and then it's gonna continue until they become 18 years old. The child benefit you'll get depends on your family income the previous year, the number of children you care, and the ages of your children. The maximum child benefit you can get for each child is $563. So imagine if you have three or more, that would actually already be equivalent to the salary or the monthly salary of a minimum wage earner working full time. And this is for everybody who qualifies, not just because uh, somebody is close to a politician or what. Anyway, let's move to number three. Here, you won't have a problem of where to get the tuition fee of your children because the education is free from kindergarten till they graduate high school. And if you live 1.6 kilometers away from your children's school, they have a school bus here and it's also for free. And if you can't afford to send your children in a university because university studies here is not for free, there is no problem because your children can apply for a student loan. That's actually my number four in the list. It's even a good thing because it can help your children become more responsible and independent. Or if you are wise enough to save the money that you received from the Canada Child Benefit when they were younger, then that's very good. Your, ch your children won't suffer from having a student loan. That money that you received from the CCB could already cover your children's tertiary education. Number five is Canada is one of the cleanest and the safest countries in the world to live in. Crime rates are low, police are trusted, easy to contact, and quick to respond. Here, you can walk alone in the street at midnight without being afraid or being worried that somebody might grab and kill you. I mean, this place is not perfect. Sure, there are still crimes here, but very low compared to other countries. Also, the places here are clean and the air is fresh. 
and you cannot see any trashes that are just scattered anywhere here and there's less pollution we breath clean fresh air here so I think this is really a very nice place and actually a best place to raise a family number six is the government support for the needy and the unemployed people if you are 16 years old and older and you need help with your living expenses meaning to say you don't have enough money to cover your immediate family's living expenses you can apply for a welfare. In Ontario, a single person on welfare receives $656 monthly. For a single person with one child, it's $941 monthly. The amount of money you will receive actually depends on the number of individuals under your care. And if you lost your job, you can apply for employment insurance and the maximum amount that you can receive from that will be $2,380 monthly. Just like now with the COVID, as you'll know that there are many establishments, businesses that closed. And so there are many people who lost their job. That includes me. But here we don't worry because the government offered us the CERB or the Canada Emergency Response Benefit. The Canada Emergency Response Benefit, or CERB, provides uh, financial support to employed and self-employed Canadians who were directly affected by this COVID-19. And the eligible ones receive $2,000 per month. Plus, there are also charity organizations here that offer free daily meals. Such as here in Kingston, we have the Martha's Table, the Lion Hearts, and some of the churches. And if you don't have a place to live in here, there are also homeless shelters to keep you safe and protected from the exposure of the weather, especially in winter. Number seven is the disability pension. In my home country, parents of children with disability worry so much about how are they gonna raise this kind of kids without enough funds and when they get old and eventually die who's gonna take care of these kids here if you're a parent of a child with a disability you can apply for your child's disability benefit to help you with your financial burden and if these individuals with disabilities are already adult they can apply for disability benefit and they will receive enough money monthly for accommodation and food so that they can live independently if these individuals are high functioning. Number eight is old age pension. Here, if you reach the age of 65, you can apply for the old age security pension. It doesn't matter if you have worked here or not, so long as you have resided here for at least 10 years and you can qualify for that benefit. So that's really great. Number nine is there is 911 in case of emergency situations. If there is somebody in your family or you have witnessed somebody who is in a medical serious emergency situation, you just have to call 911 and if you are in the city, they're going to arrive in your location in 5 to 10 minutes. So there is no problem if you just live alone and you are sick. You don't have to worry who's going to drive you to the hospital. You just have to call 911 and give your address. And then in 5 to 10 minutes, they're going to arrive in your place to help you. And number 10, the last but not the least, is that if you're already a Canadian citizen, you can apply for a Canadian passport and then you can tour around the world. You can visit as many countries as you like without the need to get a visa. You can travel to Australia, Switzerland, Germany, Hong Kong, Italy, USA, and many more other countries anytime without visa restrictions. It's because the Canadian passport has been ranked as one of the most powerful passports in the world. I still have a lot of reasons why I love Canada, but for now, I want to end it here 
because I don't want to make this video too long because it's very hard to upload. All I can say is that Canada is a great place to live in. There is unlimited opportunity and potential to be found here as one of the richest countries. If you want to know more about life here in Canada, you may consider watching my other videos. The link of those videos are in the description box below. Or you may write down what you want to ask in the comment box below. That's all! If you enjoyed and learned something from this video, please consider liking and subscribing this channel for more videos like this. Bye!